Here's another. This is, uh, I guess, am I on the wrong side of history on this as well? A P1 listener. I was actually surprised by his age. His name is Tim, and he says, I'm 30. I'm from Ohio. Sometimes you guys talk about the good old days, mostly Kelly, with what is uh, member berries. That's right. That's what Chris Oh, yeah, yeah, member yeah. Berries. When I was in elementary school, and this was around 2005, I was in the fifth grade, we had a student of the month. In, uh, we had two combined classes and one person every month, one student of the month. I won it one time. The reward was, and we all wanted it, our principal took us out after lunch for about a 30-minute to one-hour period on the back of his motorcycle <laughs> to get ice cream at a downtown ice cream parlor. About a five-mile ride from the school. We got the ice cream. We ate, chatted with the principal. He drove us back on the back of his motorcycle handed us an award for being student of the month. We all thought it was fantastic. Could he do this today? No. no. <laughs> I can't believe he did it then. then yeah. 2004 or 5, uh, he says. That's shocked. No I'm shocked way that. could that be done today. To take a student out of school, they don't even give student of the month, I bet now, just so it's the others feel bad. You know, yeah. you, can't, you can't single out one student. I don't I, think you can even put him in a car in your car. No take way. Him. No, no. Was a motorcycle. No way. In the back of his Harley. The last thing I remember as a kid was they gave sort of like during the month, but it, they would take you in like a limo somewhere. Really? Oh, did they? Really? Yeah. That was like if you were the top of your. Really? You know, I forget what it was for, but it was like a student of the month mm -hmm. type deal, and you got to go in a limo and have pizza. Yeah. But like with the principal, you know, because it was always a big thing. Like, oh, you got to sit. With the principal at lunch, or you know, and this is during a school day, so you yeah, got yeah. you got a little break, just vacation. like elementary school. Yeah, you know, when I was in high school, they had a thing with the local Rotary, and somehow you could be chosen as student of the month, and I was it once. Okay, really? Yes, <laughs> oh, wow. yes, I was student of. Who the... hasn't got? It yet? <laughs> well, the rest of the class is sick. one month left of school. <laughs> It was late in my senior year. It was May of my senior year. Let's see. Abercrombie, Bailey, <laughs> Charles, Aronson, Davidson. Uh, uh, We're not going to do that perfect attendance uh, award this year, so okay. let's make up for it. Because I, Maybe it was because I had maybe. perfect attendance all the way. Maybe the morning me. announcements. Maybe that's what put me over the top, but I won student of the month. So our assistant principal, Mr. Lorimer, got me out of class. We went to a Kiwanis meeting, or excuse me, a Rotary meeting for lunch. I had to make a brief speech, some remarks. <laughs> what? Correct. I made some remarks. Education is important. Sat there at the Rotary meeting. That's right. What kind of reward is this? We had lunch. <laughs> they put you to work. We had lunch at the, barbecue Rot chicken. At the Rotary place. Some delicious rubbery barbecue chicken. And then afterwards, he said, I'll take you to uh, over to Dixie 3 and get you an ice cream cone. I said, okay, thanks. So it's a similar thing. I was in his car. Now, I was 18 years old. Get, eat an ice cream cone. Eat an ice cream cone. <laughs> and when I came back, boy, was everybody jealous. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Still had the cone in my hand. Said, when you guys. When you're eight, movement. maybe. When yeah, you're 18, that's right. That's not right. so much. That's right. That's weird, man. None of us. Oh, no one else got ice cream. <laughs> that's not really a thing. Yeah, that's weird, month. man. <laughs> yeah, through to the month. Have to go give a speech. Yeah, I spoke to the Rotary. <laughs> the Rotaries are always looking for somebody to come right. talk to them. Yeah, that's true. I've, I've, I've spoken at a few Rotaries. I've talked to so many Rotaries. Rotaries. <laughs> I'm a member. Spoke at the Rotary. An honorary Rotor? Yes, mm -hmm. an honorary. So I made my speech, and then afterwards, after the lunch, he said, I'll take you for dessert after. And we had, So I was a little bit late back to class. And I thought, well, that's really nice, you know? There's right. not, when you're in school, regardless oh, of my the God, age, there's nothing like being out in the middle of the day yeah. with a legit reason. But this guy on the back of the motorcycle just to go get ice cream, yeah. no chance. Not today, I don't think. Well, dangerous. J.D., you're talking about teachers uh, doing things like that. Go ahead. Yeah, so back in the 90s, I was fascinated by the Titanic. Like, mm. even well before the movie, I was always fascinated by it. Mm. So when the movie came out, my second grade teacher was like, hey, let me take you to see Titanic. It'd be awesome. And so that... uh portrait scene was very awkward with my second grade teacher sitting right next Ooh, to me. Oh, I'll bet it was. Yeah. But y'all yeah. went to see the movie together. We did, yeah. Yeah. Just the two of you? Yeah, just the two of us. Wow. Did you have to did your parents have to sign a permission slip? Oh, no, she came and picked me up at uh my at my mom's house. Oh, no okay. Kidding. So okay. The mom knew. Right, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, thanks JD. <laughs> it's a nice date. <laughs> Kid when, loves Titanic. When I was listen to this, when I was a senior in high school, our Spanish teacher took me and a friend of mine. We went to see 
Morton Downey Jr. who came. Remember Morton Downey Jr.? The bombastic talk show host. Talk show host who was like really in your, in your face. Chain smoker. Chain smoker in your face. And he came here like to the Coliseum for a one-off show. You know, he was on television, but he came for that. And the guy knew that my friend and I loved him. We, I would stay up late and watch him, you know. And so he invited us. So it was uh, four guys. Teacher, his friend, me, my friend, we drove 35 minutes in his car, had went to uh, Chi Chi's, went to, uh, I went over to, you some empanadas? yeah, and went over to uh, see Morton Downey Jr. after that. And I thought, that's a little weird now, you know, looking back on it, that seems strange mm-hmm. for a teacher to do well, that. Well, back then, people trusted teachers. Well, now, I, nobody trusts anybody. Yeah. And yeah. there was nothing inappropriate. No, yeah. we just went. Yeah. But now the language was salty. I was 18, so it was okay. But I mean, the guy, Morton Downey Jr., that I mean, was his thing. Oh, he was, it was really, really good. <laughs> your was like, watch him, I get these two to order in Spanish or two juice. <laughs> we did. We ordered three. Waiter's staring, you're like, what? We ordered three, because he was the Spanish dude. <laughs> Those tacos. We all loved him, too. <laughs> Bill, you're talking about teachers doing things like this. Go ahead. Uh, hey, I'm the same age as uh, Chris Dem, so we used to have driver's ed, and our driver's ed teacher would take us to go get uh, cases of beer at the beer distributor, <laughs> donuts. Uh, oh, he no. was he was great. We we go. Get... <laughs> awesome. It was a good time then. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is wild. Way more fun then. You don't yeah. do, you don't do anything like that today. You know they they probably well I don't I don't even know if schools do driver's ed. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the schools, or do they you have still to hire do. private? They, they still do, but I think most hire private. Now. Yeah, you know, they, you just because you get it earlier, and, and they probably have trackers on the vehicles if you get it from the school. Almost guaranteed, wouldn't oh, yeah. you think? I yeah. would think so. Michelle from Japan, our listener furthest away, has a teacher story. Michelle, go ahead. Yeah, hi. So, as you know, I'm Biggie's age, and also, as you know, I'm transgender. So, you know, when I was a teenager, I was struggling with some mental health issues, pretty hardcore. Mm. And the principal found out about this. And so I'm sitting there in class one day and all of a sudden the intercom, you know, goes off and they're like, uh, blah, 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 can you come upstairs to the principal's office? And of course, everyone's freaking out like, whoa, what did you do? Mm-hmm. And I have no idea. So I go up there and he's like, let's take a drive. And he gets me in his car and takes me to McDonald's and it's like, order whatever you want. So I'm sitting there with a Big Mac in McDonald's freaking out because I don't know what's going on. This has never happened to me. And he just starts talking like, so I'm hearing you're having thoughts of suicide. And I'm just thinking, if someone's having those kinds of thoughts, taking the McDonald's and then chatting them up over a Big Mac when you're, you know, 16 is not what right. you should be doing. Right. He should have had a school I counselor. I right. Was yeah. So uncomfortable. Oh, I'll mm-hmm. bet. That sounds uncomfortable. Now, just to go to McDonald's. Treat Bob's your uncle, but this no, you can't do that. That was the wrong way to handle that. I I, agree. You know, I went to a Catholic school, and um, once you hit sixth grade, you can become an altar boy, mm-hmm. which was kind of a big deal. A lot of the boys became altar boys, right? And I was a pretty good one. Yeah. I don't want to brag, but I was a pretty good altar boy. Yeah. And sometimes there would be funerals during the day, during mm-hmm. the week. A lot of times Catholics will push their funerals to Saturday. Yeah. But sometimes they can't be helped and they and the weddings will the funerals, excuse me, will be during the week. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a full mass and so they needed altar boys and sometimes the priest would say I want you you and you and they pick me and a couple others. Right. To be altar boys for the funeral. And the best part, not the best part, but the best part was when you got to go to the cemetery. Mm-hmm. Because then you had to go out there while the priest did the holy water thing and then they would stop yeah. And we'd all have McDonald's on the way oh, back to it. school. So that's we were it. gone. Yeah. I was all, out of class for two and a half hours. All day. <laughs> Those Catholic funerals. And you get your McDonald's. Yes. Catholic going funeral. forever. Absolutely. Jeez. I, I don't think that would fly today with that teacher did 15, no. 20 years ago.